Hey, so what's an easy way to check your copy or your email uh, if you're in a pinch and you just want to make sure that it's clear, concise, and the best it can possibly be as quickly as possible? So I do a couple things that I, I think are really cool, especially with new tools from Grammarly. Um, so what I do is basically is I, I created this uh, this really cool email shout out, right? I, so let's compose this real quick. I use two tools. I use the Grammarly, t Grammarly, which I highly recommend. See, it's waiting for me. I'm gonna copy and paste that bad boy. So that's what you want is the advanced issues, and I always love to make sure that this the smile. This is actually not that easy to do. It's a smiley face, but you want to check it, and and then you can also edit in Grammarly, right? Um, and it's checking your stuff. So correctness looks good. Clarity looks good. This is the bare minimum that you want. Engagement's almost there. And the delivery is off. But I have to go premium to see the delivery. So uh, it's still, in my mind, pretty damn good. Overall, 85, everything. The punctuation's good. But before, it was, you know, let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I, ever and I love it so much. Let's just see if that kind of makes it worse or something. It doesn't really, but you can see that it, it kind of, uh, it's really cool. It, it, it has a, it checks it while you're doing it. It has the amount of words, and you definitely want to keep it, especially if you're doing email outreach, to a bare, bare minimum. So I would definitely not write as, as, much, as, I, as, as, as much as you possibly can. Um, and the other thing is, uh, making sure that you copy and paste this into copy and paste this to, uh, the Hemingway app. Okay. So I already had it kind of there before and yeah, this goes, there we go. I think be bold. Don't admit, <laughs> don't hedge. I like that. I like that. You're, so so as you can see, it's grade four. Uh, that's the name of the company, so I can change that. And I only have one semi-hard sentence to read, okay? And it's grade four. So uh, if it's anywhere above grade five, you're going to really want to check and make sure that it's not. You want to make this as simple. I mean, it's simple, concise, and clear. So this kind of helps me. I mean, I, the Hemingway editor, if you don't use this, you have got to use it, especially on some of your mo more important emails, proposals, copywriting. It's always, always good to do. Um, so I use this in combination. I kind of go back and forth, like back and forth. But these two tools, I think, are so helpful for copywriting or any type of writing that you're going to do. You want to make sure that you're, you're correct and your grammar is okay because I... I am not the best grammar person. I feel like I'm good at creating, you know, compelling messages, but uh, for grammar, it's like I I'm not that good. So I, I need these tools so I can become better um, and better. So I hope that helps. Some some quick tools that I feel like are very powerful and can help empower you. So uh, let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it really helps. Uh, and comment if you have any of your own methods that you like to do. Um, I felt like this was a cool, compact, and efficient way to kind of get something done quickly. So.